Sometimes we make life so difficult for others that we drive them to suicidal thoughts and we think we're going to get away with it. You think you're pious when you've driven someone to suicidal thoughts? Couldn't you empower them? Couldn't you speak to them, reassure them? Couldn't you give them words of guidance? Couldn't you let them know how merciful Allah is so that whatever they've done could be wiped out? Couldn't you give them a few words of comfort to tell them that whatever bad or whatever difficulty and hardship they're going through, Allah will make it easy for them. Good days are definitely going to come. Instead of that, we smash them onto the ground in a way that even when they were considering suicide, it became a louder thought in their minds and hearts. May Allah protect us. I would never like to be a person whom, because of their speech or actions or deeds, another person felt they didn't want to live anymore. Why would a Muslim do that? Subhanallah, you believe in Allah. No matter who you are, never blackmail people, never. Never treat people in a bad way. There are so many out there who blackmail others. You develop a haram relationship with the opposite sex and then when one or two or both of the parties realize this is not what we're supposed to be doing and the relationship comes to an end, you find sometimes someone decides we're going to blackmail this person so that they cannot let go. Well, you may choose to do something silly. You are very well in the clutches of Allah. Allah is definitely going to get hold of you. If not here, then very soon. You don't get away with oppressing people. When you've oppressed someone, that's going to be the darknesses of the day of judgment. Subhanallah. Dark clouds above your head on the day of judgment. The clouds of shame. The clouds of hurt and oppression. Those would be the regretful ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.